Hello everyone, my name is Dave, and this is my approach to creating a news article web scraper using Node.js with Body Parser, Cheerio, Express, Handlebars, Mongoose, Morgan, and Request. I've already installed MongoDB locally and have cloned a root folder called Scraper News from my Git repository and will focus on making the application structure, files, and code with emphasis on showing you the process of how we build it. I've already created a basic folder structure and server file all within the root of the Scraper News folder. We're going to go with an NVC model here. This is an empty server file. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start with npm init and create our package JSON. I'm just going to go ahead and give brief descriptions here. We have our package JSON. I'm going to take a look at it here. Now let's install the packages we need for this project. This should work. It'll take a, a second or so to load everything up. Okay, there we go. It looks like our modules were installed. Let's make sure we have Cheerio. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm going to check my package JSON to make sure the package dependencies were included. There they are. Everything we need. Now we will set up our server.js file by creating our server connection. First, we will require our dependencies. I am including body parser and Mongo, mongoose here. Um, I'm also creating a logger with Morgan. Get the code that initializes the Express app. So we'll put that here. I'm going to go ahead and set up our, our logger for our development area. Let's see here. Set the app engine. Okay, we'll save that. Set up our port and then run a test. Okay, let's go ahead and create our local port. And then we'll, it'll console.log the message that lets us know that we're listening to this port 3000. So let's go ahead and save this and give it a test. And it looks like we have a server working. We have nothing to see yet on a page, but um, we do have a connection. So first step, successful. Now that we have a local connection working, I'm going to go ahead and stop it for now. Control C. And clear my work area. And I'm going to go ahead and finish out this server file to include some uh, paths that I know we're going to need. So we're going to need to connect the app to our public folder. I'm going to 
I'm going to go ahead and put that here. And I'm going to need to create a mongoose database connection. Since we're going to go ahead and connect that, let's set up our mongoose environment. I have already installed my MongoDB locally as a service. To start mine, all I need to do is go on Mongo and press enter. So I'm going to go ahead and start mine. Okay, get my Git bash back up with a split environment. This is a wonderful feature in Visual Studio Code, by the way. And now I have my MongoDB running and I have my Git Bash ready within the folder. And I'm gonna go ahead and set up my Mongoose connection. We still have to create our models, but uh, since we're here and I know we need it, I'm going to put it right under, under the handlebars, I think. Yeah. I'm going to make a variable called db to hold the connection. I'm going to create uh, an error function that will log up any errors that happens during the connection. And we'll go ahead and put that there. There we go. This lets us know uh, when we're connected, if we're connected to Mongoose. Okay, let's run a test. We should get, uh, if it's successful, it should say that we're logged into our local host and that we're connected to the Mongoose database. So sort of, sort of successful. Uh, we were able to get a connection to the database and the port. So I think our server file is okay for now. Let's go ahead and create our models. I think that's what we need to uh, get set up.